This is ridiculous. You bring a camera around and public employees just can't do their job. Sir, you, we, you, I did not feel threatened until I you, know you didn't feel got threatened. up on Debbie's desk and you won't answer questions as to what your business is. That's my fifth amendment so, right to not answer questions. Hello. Hello, can I help you? Uh, is this the mayor's office? Yes, it is. Okay. I was just wanting to document the area real quick, so I don't need any help from you exactly, but I appreciate you. Yeah, what's your name? Uh, I don't give it just for my own for my own anonymity purposes. I like to remain anonymous, but is this where the actual mayor mayor is? Yes. Okay. I was just wondering. Thank you. And what are you videoing this for? I just I'm conducting an investigation right now. What kind of investigation? I can't exactly disclose it because it's an open investigation, but and just... And who are you doing this for? I work for the public. But, um, yeah, I can't disclose too much information right now just, just for the purposes of maintaining the integrity of the investigation. Okay, but you're coming into the mayor's office and not giving me your name, though. Right, I know. But it's okay, just I'm I'm just here to document for a little bit and then once I get everything I need I'll just move my move myself along. Alright. See what we got here. So what exactly are you wanting to investigate? Again, I just for the just for the purposes of the integrity of the investigation, I can't disclose that information right now. But um I'm sure that you'll hear about the verdict of my investigation in the near future. So who are you with? I'm just by myself today. I'm not with anybody right now. But uh, there may be more more people coming through to do similar types of investigations. So you don't think you need permission or even to inform the mayor exactly since he is the mayor? that he needs to be not informed of what you're doing? Oh, we <laughs> definitely can't inform him. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. We definitely cannot inform him about what this is about. So should I call the police over and let them help you? I, I don't think that I'd that would... I'd be happy to do that. I don't think that would be too constructive. <laughs> to well, maybe honest. not to your investigation, but in order to know exactly what it is that you're doing i think you Hello. need to know that and what it's for okay well you you got to do what you got to do i'm just trying to do my job right now let me see what this is right here uh, no, sir. Sir. sorry i'm sorry this is debbie's desk i mean you can't just come in and video stuff are you looking for something in particular He's doing an investigation for yeah. what i'm just I can't disclose that information. Okay, well, we can't disclose anything on this desk. I mean, a lot of this is from people that, you know, this is confidential stuff. So, if you... This is confidential stuff? Everything on her desk is to the public. Why do you leave it out? She's sitting right here. <laughs> this is a public office. <laughs> that doesn't mean you come into my office and Why you are you videoing out? stuff on her desk if you and think won't give that me it's... His name it's to conduct my investigation. This is a public office. And we've got the right to be in here. Sure you do, but you don't have a right to video what's on her desk. Do you? Do you feel like you have a right to look what's on her desk? Yeah, I mean, I help pay for this desk. I, I ask if I should call the police over. Maybe they can help. Find I don't. Kind of I'll be honest. I don't think you should call the police. I don't think that they're really even going to. I think, I mean, call Terry. I really think I should because I mean you can't. You're come. in the mayor's office. My thing is, you're in the mayor's office without him knowing, and you're checking things out without him knowing. And I think well, he as has long as this know. is a a public place, I, you can tell the mayor if you want. I'm just honestly, that's fine. But um, I'll be around. Where is the city clerk's office at? Just one moment. Now that just one moment. Okay. Hey, Chief, do you mind running over to my office real quick? Okay, thank you. And it's... So do you want me to stick around to wait for the Chief? Or? Yes, okay. I, I would like for you to. Okay. okay. I just, just wanted to make that clear. Yeah.
All right. I called the chief. Okay. I mean, we're happy to help you, but you can't just go to someone's desk and look at her stuff. I mean, you definitely, there's things back there in the clerk treasurer's office because what they do is we very, and yes, things. that you really. I mean, if there's something you're wanting, you can file a public records request and I really. That's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I need some public records, but really just a part of what I do is I help people maintain their, I help people understand what their duties are. And part of your guys' duties as public employees is to make sure that the public's information is not in an area where it might be available, readily available well, to somebody else. I understand that, else. that you just walked up to her private desk. This is not private. This is not a private desk. Yes, it is. This is a public office. That's a public desk. Where do you want her to work? In At her office. This is her office. Right, I get that. But you don't, you're not giving me information of what exactly you're looking for to where I can help you. No, I know, but that's because... And that is I, being that, deceiving. No, that's because I can't disclose the information. It might, it might totally But you want, me. you think it's okay for her to disclose information on her desk to you? I'd hope so. I hope she wouldn't have anything there that she shouldn't have. You, that's totally not making any sense. Okay. Hi, Chief. Hello. Hi, Chief. Hello. Hello. This gentleman is, is here because he's wanting to do an investigation. So he's checking things out. And he's not informing me of who he is, who he's with, or what type of an investigation he's looking for. And he's just walk, you know, just walking around videoing. And I don't know. Okay. So, so what can they help you with here? I'm just convict. I'm just conducting my investigation, man. I um, right now I just stuck around because she asked me to stick around and talk to you. Okay. To hear what you had to say, but I don't need any help from her per se. I'm just conducting my investigation. Okay. I'd appreciate cooperation with my investigation, which I, you were. I mean, I'm I pretty much got everything that I need, so that's yeah. fine. Okay. But, yeah, I, I, I just, I assure you, understand. I can't disclose information about my investigation it might it might compromise the integrity of the investigation i understand that but he so. walked up to her desk and was trying to video papers on her so that, that's the concern because she has information on her desk that is not for the public to see okay so you can't just come in and start video on someone's desk that, that could cause some problems you know what kind of problems well there's personal information that you you are now not allowed to have. Okay. Okay. And that would be the same for any of the offices that are in the building. Um, you can't just come in and walk up to someone's desk and start looking through it. No, I was not looking through the desk. Okay. But if you're recording you're something, you're you could go back and replay whatever you saw on her desk. And there may be personal information that that person doesn't want, maybe social security numbers right. or you know, that stuff should definitely be concealed from the public. Okay. So you're the public coming in to record that. That could cause some problems. That's what we're trying to say. Yeah, but it's it's not my responsibility to make sure that they keep people's personal information away okay. from my view. So what would you suggest since you're doing an investigation for Debbie to do for someone who walks in and starts video on her? For everybody desk? in the... Well, first of all, I mean, I guess there aren't any video cameras in this office, but I can pretty much FOIA request any public records that I want to. So that's pretty much, that's number one. There is a process for that though. Right, there is. Yeah. But if there is information that people in this building would like to keep concealed from the public, right. it is their responsibility to create privacy in public. That's what the Supreme Court ruled. And I'm just doing an investigation today. I'm not looking to I'm sorry that you guys got all upset about this, but it is your guys' responsibility to create privacy while you're in public. Well, it's... whenever you walk up to my desk, you're invading my my space. You're, step, space. you're overstepping your bounds because really, you should know. So nobody is up. allowed to be here. That's what these chairs are That's for. That's what those chairs are for. Okay, so what if they walk into the mayor's office? Is they, that... they will not walk in the mayor's office, not without me giving them permission, which they do not have. Okay, so if in order to do that, what is that noise? 
It's a oh, okay. It's outside. But in order to do that, I would actually advise, and this is just to keep in compliance with the law. If this is going to be Debbie's area, we want to make a little, I don't know if you guys have like a little, little playpen fence, you know, like the kids use. So if we can get like a playpen fence up and then label it Debbie's area. I mean, we've never had anybody have an issue other than you. And I usually don't have people have an issue with my investigations unless they've got something to hide. We have nothing to hide. If you have nothing but to hide, why don't you tell us who you who are, are and who where you're with. from? I mean, do you live in Bedford? I've been asking that ever since you've Because you, you told me that your tax dollar you bought that desk and that's your desk. So do you live in Bedford? I mean, I just don't answer those kind of, of questions. Okay. So are you done then? In this, in this particular office, I've gotten everything that I need. And I, I, him. I think it's that. time for you to go. No, I need to go to the clerk's office. Okay. So what's your question for the clerk's office? I'll ask them when I get there. Okay. So I'll ask, escort you and then we're going to be done. Let's go. What do you mean we're going to be done? You're going to go in and answer, answer, ask your question, and then I'm going to ask you. I'm that. conducting an investigation, let's dude. Go. Nobody's going to tell me, let's go. Let's go. I'm leaving because I was leaving here, but I'm not going to do what you tell me from here on out. Do you understand that, it, Chief? Let's go. Let's go ask the question so that we can, so they can get back to work. Matter of fact, right now, dude, I don't need your help. You're dismissed. Oh, oh. my. Here. I have not, actually, I did not dismiss the, make the chief. All right, well, that's cool. You can escort her anywhere. You can do that. But any so following me would be harassment. So no, don't be not. doing that. Let's yep. go. Don't be following me, chief. Let's uh, go. Yes, he has my permission. And he would have the mayor's permission. So you want to go to the clerk's office? Let's go this way. I just want you to leave me alone so I can conduct my business. The investigation's on you. So we don't want you around while I'm conducting it. I want him around. This well, is, that's fine. You can I stay with here. her. She's listen. Nice, we're not so trying to cause safe. any issues. You are. You're issues trying to you. tell me what to if do. If you want to go to the clerk's treasurer's office, I will walk you in there. You can ask your question, and then you're free to leave. Yeah. If I'm free to leave, I'm free to stay. This is a public building. I've got a First Amendment right to be here. You can't restrict my movement. You can't kick me out of a public building. I'm part of the public. I've got every right to be here. So where do you get off telling me what to do? Do you know who pays your salary? I'm not. I'm not too worried. No, you're not too worried about it. If you, you want to go, ask the clerk treasurer a question. Let's go. I will go when I'm good and ready to. But I don't want you thinking that you've got some. Oh, I'll tell you what to do, bro. I don't work for you. I don't do anything for you. I pay your salary. So you go ahead and get moving on. I don't care about your ego either. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want you around here. I I feel threatened right now, so I would ask for you to remove him from city hall. If you remove me, you'll be getting a lawsuit for battery. When these when these ladies feel threatened by you being here, I'm here to conduct business. If so they feel threatened by a First so Amendment, can leave. What? Do you know what the First Amendment is? Go what? conduct your business what so that you can leave. What business do you have to conduct? Because you're I not told you guys. But you're not disclosing. I'm not gonna. Where do you even work in here? Do you work in the clerk's office? No, I don't. Then you've got She's nothing to worry agent. about. You've got nothing. I'm not gonna come see you. You came and saw me. So if anybody's because threatening you're anybody, harassing. you're calling a guy with a gun to try to ask him to batter me and throw me out of the building. I'm not threatening anybody. I'm here conducting an investigation. If that threatens you, you guys, what are you guys hiding? So just go close, close all the offices. You said okay. you're. So just go close, close all okay. the offices. You said okay. you're here on business. I am what here business on business. Do you have to conduct? I'm here, here to. I'm here to get public services. So you guys are closing. You're closing the city hall. Yes. We, we have the right to do that. You've got the right to close. The city we hall. do. Okay, so now I'm not going to be able to get my public records request? No, There's a won't. process for that. You go online and you request that. It's state law that you have to provide law you, is. state law that you have to provide a form or you have to let yes. me write it down on a piece of paper and turn it in. Do we have those where you can write those out public request? I can print it. Okay, please do that. You want me to do it now? No. Yeah, I'll do it now. She's going to print that form out for you and then you can make your public request and then the city attorney signs off on it, and then we get that information. I know how it works. I've conducted a lot of investigations, Good. but right now it seems like you are in the business of violating people's rights, asking me to leave for conducting a First Amendment protected Kevin. activity. Kevin, will you guys close, close down? Yeah, I can do that. Both of your offices. I don't pay you guys to close down the offices. We have the right to do that. You if we feel and like I've got the right emergency. to. I've got the right to have a camera in a public area. Okay. Okay. Well, what's your address? You, you keep saying you pay us. Do you even live here? Why would I? Are you guys trying to come to my house or something? That's very weird to me. Oh my gosh. 
Uh, well, you're acting like I'm threatening you, and you're at, sitting here talking about record this. If she records it, I'll have access to every every Which picture of her phone. Is you. that your personal phone? Because if that's your personal phone, I advise you to stop it. Because I can FOIA request every single picture that's on that phone by federal, by the Freedom of Information Act. So you I have can to get give yours to too. No, because I'm not a public servant like you are. You're paid by the public. And I'm trying to work, and you're interfering. Okay. You're not that. trying to work. You're Here harassing. Is your public records request. Right. There you go. Cool. Right. Awesome. Fill that awesome. out. Awesome. All right, great. Well, you're dismissed. Thank you. But that's this is the front door. Uh, there's a that's where the employees. They're closed. They're closed. That's the front. So door. how am I supposed to fill out and turn in my public records request? You can mail it, or you can. Uh, oh, you can do go online. Or you can go online website. and do that. The one door have the light and. Why are you door? I see the door. What are you trying to tell me? This is an employee entrance and exit. That's for the public. This is for the public. This is how you get to the clerk's They're office. They're closed. They're not closed. They close at four. I closed them, and the administration has closed them. So it's not safe you having you in the building right now. Why is it not safe? Because I'm conducting a First Amendment protected activity. We gave you all your options, and those aren't good enough for you. No, my I'm giving you an option. You can stop trying to violate my rights, or you can get a lawsuit for trying to kick me out of City Hall during business hours while I'm conducting a First Amendment protected you activity. You asked for a public records request. We gave that to you. And I'm also asking for the public services that you provide to every other person. You're discriminating, you're discriminating against me because I've got a camera. That's that's not true. Well, why is it? Why? What is the reason? Okay. What is the reason? Go ahead. Articulate it. I'm not going to get into an argument with Cam. Your yeah. ego is is sore. I'm sorry, buddy. I can't help you, man. Well, what are you going to do? Like, what are you going to do? Well, what are you trying to do right now? I'm trying to conduct my business. You're over you've here got, trying to tell me that I need form. to leave. This you've is got a your public form. building. You don't own this building. You've got your form, okay? okay. You wanted a pu public record request form. We've got that for you. So you are free you to leave? To to? Yeah, I know. If I'm free to leave, I'm free to stay. What are you going on about? Why are you here with me? Because the people who work in this building have answered your questions and, and they feel that it's free. You're, you're free to go. There, there's nothing yeah. else we can do for you. I am free to go. Mm -hmm. I know. If I'm free to go, I'm free to stay. So why are you still here? Honestly, ladies, you guys probably just should go back to work. I'm not trying to bother you. No, thank you. Okay, well, that's fine. I see. And I can't force them to do anything. I can only That's advise right, because they're not employed by you. <laughs> what are they, public employees or private employees? Do you they, answer to the, they answer to the people, the people. city council, and the mayor. Okay. Okay. Who do you answer to? The to mayor. the city council and to the mayor. Who do you think they answer to? I'm at, the at boss's the, boss. At, when people vote, uh, yes. That's but after they vote, you guys them. just go ahead and do whatever you want, right? That's Violate people's case. rights. That's not yeah, well, then open this place back up because I'm not leaving. Who do you call Greg? Yeah. This is ridiculous. You bring up a camera around a public employee who just can't do their job. Sir, you, we, you, I did not feel threatened until I you, know you didn't feel got threatened. up on Debbie's desk and you won't answer questions as to what your business is. That's my Fifth Amendment so, right to not answer questions. You know that, right? What's the first line of the Miranda rights? What What's your purpose here? What are you trying it's to do? It's to conduct an investigation, like I told you. But what is the first? What's the first line in the Miranda rights? Do you know it? I'm not going to answer that. It's you have the right to remain silent. But you're not under arrest. You're not being investigated for anything. I still retain the right to remain silent. But you're not being investigated for anything. I still retain the right to remain okay. silent. All right. Just as I was So what's your plans? You just want to sit here till four o'clock? I'm going to stand here until you leave me alone. Right now you're harassing me, you're bullying me, and I'm not about to get bullied by some guy who supposedly works for me, who's just sitting here dressed in a clown costume with a gun and a table. You are it. threatening and harassing us, and what I don't want you to made? leave. You're not leaving. That's the threat. So being in a public office that I pay for yes. is threatening. You're not paying for this public office because you probably don't even live here. But the second part of that. I'll be honest. People in Florida pay for this public office. Every city the in the United part States of that gets grants from the federal government. Is that you come in and you're in our workspace and you won't leave. And I don't feel safe leaving you out here in the hallway. So, yeah, I'm. 
Well, there's no trespassing law that applies to public property. That's fine, but a crime, so. if there's something here else that you need, let's figure yeah, it out. I'd but like to, but what? I'd like this what clown to get out of my face. Um, so you're and I really don't even want to talk to you. My business is with the clerk. I want to fill out my public records request. That's not what you do. The clerk, the clerk doesn't take do that. that. Who takes it? Who takes this? We told you, you fill it out, you can do it online, or you can fill it out and mail it, and it comes to Debbie's office. Okay, well then I'll fill it out and hand it to Debbie, but I'll do it as soon as you leave me alone, dude. I mean, right now you're obstructing my investigation. You're I'm here. asking him you to stay. All kinds of, we're not keeping you in here. Right now, you're threatening me, or you're at trying to... It's an implied threatening. You're saying, there's the door, there's the door. I don't care. I know the door's there. What do I look like? Okay, so if we take you into the conference room and give you a pencil, you're going to fill that out, give it to Debbie, and you're I don't need it. your pencil. I don't need anything from you. Right okay. now, I need you to leave me alone. If you think I'm a threat, if you really think that I'm threatening people in here, and, you know, if there's any evidence that I'm doing anything wrong, why am I not in handcuffs and in jail? Because that's that's not what we're trying to accomplish here. Okay. We're trying right to answer now, your I'm questions. To tell you I feel uncomfortable by your presence. You're armed. You've got a taser. You've got. You're asking for backup. I don't know who this guy is. This He's guy. an employee. Yeah. Yeah. The guy might go to the bathroom down there. That's what I'm like. Well, Greg, you can come on down to the bathroom, man. I'm not trying to even record you while you do it, bro. Okay. Like I'm, I just didn't want to interrupt trying to no, get through. Yeah, no, you're I, I'm the <laughs> only police officer here. Okay, that's fine, dude, but you don't need to be here with me because I feel threatened and harassed right and so does Denise. Well, Denise, I wasn't even talking to her. She and came so down here Debbie. on her own accord. I was okay. out of Debbie's office on my own. Okay. I was about done. You so I just you, don't get what's going on You didn't on here. come in here and ask for help. You came in. Because I don't need your guys' help. What am I supposed to do? But this is you. a public place. I know, and which if, is why I'm here. So you're you're only here to harass us at no, this point. You, no, you cannot harass your public employees when you're asking them for help. This makes well, no okay, sense. ask me for help. What can I help you I with? I don't need your help. You just said that you can't harass me if you're asking me for help. So right. what do you need I help with? I also can't harass you if you come up to me and don't leave me alone when your office is upstairs. My office is right where it needs to be. And <laughs> you need to you need to fill your paper out. And if there's any other business you need. This is a pointless stand up. I'm telling you, I'm not leaving until either you leave or until it's four o'clock and I've got to leave by law. Okay. And that is the only thing that's going on. I've got 128 leaves on this thing that's rolling all day. I mean, if you have work to do, then I'd like to see you go do it because I don't like to see my tax dollars going to people leaning on a heater in a public office harassing somebody with a camera who's not done anything wrong. Okay. You've got your form. I understand. Okay. That. Excuse me. It's in I've hand. offered you the opportunity to go into the conference room and fill it out and turn it into Debbie. And you don't want to do that. Because I don't take orders from you, dude. Okay. So then your other option is to leave and go fill that out and then come back and turn it in. And I'm telling you, I'll take the option that I choose to take when you leave. Why should I leave if you don't have to leave? Because you have, you're you on the clock right now. You've got a He's job. He's doing his job. Now my job is to investigate him and you guys, and you guys right now are obstructing my investigation. What happens if somebody obstructs your investigation? What do you do to them? Do you attack them and throw them in handcuffs and throw Have them? Have I put you in handcuffs? No, but I'm Have not attacking anything that you're doing. I'm telling you, you're dismissed, bro. I don't need you around here. Okay. Like, I think I'm, I'm just going to stay here until we get this figured out. All right, man. Well, that's fine. Then. I think I'm just going to stay here till I get this figured out because I can't figure out why public employees would just want to stand here with the guy who's not doing anything wrong. Why do you want him to leave so badly? Why is he, he intimidating leave, so leave you? Me alone. As far as I'm concerned, you go way up at the top of the stairs and watch me walk out these doors. Why are you being you so, right here. why are you acting like that toward him? We asked him to come down here because I felt threatened and here you are. You're still threatening and harassing. Nobody's threatening Do your business and leave. Okay. Well, right now my business is to investigate and right now the investigation isn't looking good, dude. So, not looking good at all. So what is it, two employees in the last year that you've, you've had arrested at your police department? I've not had arrested. No, I've had investigation, Jess. Okay. I've done everything in front of the way. Well, I'll tell you, something's a little bit different. This time it's my investigation. It's not you guys grading your own report card. And we're going to have a little bit of a different verdict on this. It's going to be one high places, man. And right now you're failing miserably. And you're the chief. You represent the whole, the, the utmost position in your department. 
Mm -hmm. Ms. Allen, you're not on your department. Yes, he's already over He's been trying to give me the briefing for 15, 20 minutes. Okay, thanks. Oh, <laughs> okay, thanks. All right, we're leaving. Get over here. Of course not. Greg is coming. Okay. I think he got out by his house, so it would take about, what, okay. five or ten minutes. So. Right, but he did ask if you have ID on you that you could show us. What? Why would I show you guys my ID? So we know who you are? Yeah, I don't need to, though. I've got a Fourth Amendment right to be Thank secure in my person's properties, effects, and papers. Uh, uh, let me step outside here. No, oh, big man stepping outside. Oh, All right, well. Like, what is it with your attitude? I, I don't understand. What is it with you accusing me of threatening you, man? Well, I, we feel threatened, you are. I feel threatened by you. Well, that's yeah. your guys' feelings. I'm trying Sorry. to do my job. I'm videoing you, too. If you need something else, sure let me help you. No. If you don't need anything, God, I'm sorry. Don't need anything. I'm aware. Why don't you, you asked him to leave you alone. Why don't you leave him alone? He left me alone. This is the door. So you're leaving? You're, yeah, that's you're not going to listen to his conversation. That's, that's all. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I can, you want me to call Brendan Lane, no, he's left. Or should we have great time?